like, you know, there's, there's chemistry involved. Like, not just like, ooh, there was a, such good chemistry between us. No, like actual chemistry, like oxytocin and endorphins and that kind of stuff, you know? That I don't think you will, you will get from VR. Unless, you know, we start making chemical injections part of the um, VR headset. Oh, there's three of you. I may have uh, uh, may have over over engage here. Okay. Can we pop your butt? There we go. Are you unsure of my location, but if some tools and muscle around Berlin would be helpful with that green screen. Yeah, so. It's not that I don't trust you guys, but I deliberately keep my location a secret because there are like there are some people who will dox you and do that kind of sad stuff. So in order to protect myself and those around me, I try to keep that myself. No, I appreciate the offer. Okay, there we go. Popping them. Oh, like it's going out of style. Oh, hello. I just dodge into the thing? Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I saw something. Hello. Hello, hello. Oh yeah. Bye bye. See you later, nerd. Wait, you're not dead? Would you please, sir, sir, would you please sit down? Okay. Bella back. We're gonna have to have to talk. When I when I put up a one liner that you're gonna die, you're actually you actually have to listen to me. There we go. I know, Kermit, these guys have some HP. Bad. So people keep saying that you should use a VPN for streaming for that reason. I disagree. Because... First of all, Twitch doesn't... Twitch protects my IP. They proxy. They don't show anybody's IP even through if you connect the IRC. Because it's all proxied. So, if your IP leaks out from Twitch... Uh, I don't think that's gonna happen. But secondly, by adding a VPN, you add an extra point of failure where your IP can leak. Just because you're using a VPN doesn't mean you're se magically secure. It just means that you have to trust your VPN provider with your connection instead of Twitch. And seeing like the drama that was around, uh, was it private internet access or was it NordVPN or one of these providers, that's not necessarily better than Twitch. So, I mean, there's two ways Twitch could leak my IP address. It's, first of all, by 
broadcast by the IP that I'm transmitting the video stream from. But that's not going to happen because it's not... Well, I'm not going to say it's not going to happen. It's unlikely because Twitch cannot send it out and have a good solution that way because they have to proxy the traffic. They have to multiplex it. So there's really no clear re reason why that should happen. And again, uh, via the IRC pro uh, interface, they could also leak it, but that's tested. There are so many people using that. I don't think that's going to leak. If they have like a major breach where people hack and find look at their logs and stuff, then maybe that could be a thing. Just stay out of their way. But for... then at that point, you know. I mean, uh, EOIP is a thing, but also in Germany, privacy regulations are strict, so they're not that accurate here. Where are we going? Oh my goodness. Uh... All right, yeah. Let's do this camp while we're here. I mean, we're literally at, at the doorsteps of the camp. Well, that depends on um, how much data your ISP gives out. And trophies. An IP is just a number. And to get it to a street address, then your ISP has to associate that IP with the street. And that is a massive violation of GDPR. And especially in Germany, people are not going to be happy about that. Yeah, that is true. Doxing through social media is the biggest risk. And which is why I'm very careful about what I say on social media or on stream. And I don't use social media that much, to be honest. I mean, I probably should for, you know, growth of the channel and, and, and whatnot, but... Hey buddy. Found me even though I'm hidden. Sit down. Oh, this, you have a friend? You had a friend. I mean, honestly, I'm more worried about, you know, somebody reverse engineering my whereabouts from, you know, me talking about the weather too often. Oh, hi there, friendos. Oh! 
What did that hit? Oh, you had a helmet. Look at that tech, though. That helmet tech. space. Entropins, yeah, but, you know, to do that, you have to actually be in, in the peering point or at some of the edge routers of the ISP. And I don't see that happening. I mean, it's not like some random dude can just start looking at all the um, TCP flows that go around the internet. That's not how that works. Or UDP for the matter. I'm gonna aggro both of those. Um, plan, plan, plan. Needs a plan. This is the tiniest grass patch that has ever patched the grass. Alright, we're just gonna go loud. We're just gonna go loud. Got intruders. Go. Do you now? Do you have intruders? Oh wow, that that that's how you aim. All right, all right, buddy. Fight back, can you all? Oh, that guy has helmet tech. Oh. Oh, hi there, friendos. That's a lot of that's a lot of that's a lot of dudes. Oh hi, hi, hi. Let's not die. We haven't saved for a hot minute. Yeah, hey guys, there's a lot of you. Could you all just disperse please? Dogs are nose the system. Most data gathering is done at the aggregate level. Sure, but you can't see the data unless you have access to the hardware. Get out of the or like the ICMP interface or whatever remote management interface they have. And to do that, you have to actually be involved with the ISPs or the peering points or something like that. Hmm. They respawn on this one if I run too far away. What? Okay, dudes, dudes. Will you, will you guys slow down? There we go. Using up our, all our blaze here. Is that a child? No, not anymore.
Oh, you have a helmet tech? Oh, no, you don't. There you go. Yeah, medium attacks are a thing, but again, you have to have access to your hardware. And I don't think I have such big enemies that they're gonna meet them the internet infrastructure and sure if they can do some DNS portioning to directly target me well credit to them but I don't think there is an attacker that is that motivated motivated and skilled But then again, we have certificates, we have uh, PKI, all of that kind of stuff to detect and prevent mutant attacks. So if you're going to go through the trouble of Breath is ice. faking a certificate, out. getting me to go to a fake website, which I believe is hard. Enter in my credentials. Press the button on my security key. And then get me to enter personal details there. Well, I at that point, I'm going to say I probably did something wrong. And I'm okay with that risk. But yeah, um, that's... Can we talk about not doxing me, please? That would be an interesting topic. Yeah, but you're deep into the hypotheticals now. Trust me. I, I know what I'm doing. I work in IT. Look out, it's her. Really? <laughs> right. If we're talking about loggers then VPN isn't gonna do squat anyway and that's what we're talking about VPN versus no VPN Fools are there here? We've used up a fair amount of arrows. Oh, hello. You large skulls let an intruder get in here. Large Don't skulls. Get out again. Find them. Kill them. Can we not stand up? Can we keep Why hiding? Start Thank you. Fire to things? Can we start setting fire to things, huh? One dude up here. Boop. Are you steel or are you slag? Get him! I don't understand the question. You have a helmet. That is so rude. You have no idea how rude that is.
Do I need to start setting fire to things? Oh, that. oh, shnikes. We spotted. Oh, come on. Somebody. Okay. Hello? Where are you at, bruh? Oh. Is that guy immune to fire? Can I not pop his thing? I don't think I can. Okay. In that case. Get the helmet off this guy. What? Okay. Uh, gonna just. Take a uh, healing potion here. Whoa, hello. Okay, fire resist, actual potion. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Give me potions. Can I pick you apart, shop? There we go. Really, that hit? Whoa, that flame thrower did a number. Okay, slow down with the Flammenwerfer. Slow down. Killer time! Oh, you can hit those, okay. That for you! That's gonna blow. Did you just Did you just remove my loot? Game. Don't go deleting my loot. That is rude. Now to find the bandit leader again. Oh jeez. We're doing this. We're really doing this. No, he's not here. You see? I mean, I got the reward with the weapon and the thing. Oh, there's dudes up here. Or loot, at least. You're too late, Outland. Ooh, hello. Oakley has already claimed this camp. You claimed this camp? Hey, kiddo. I freed the camp. It's my camp now. Oh, that blue gleam. I'll be taking that.
Summons from the claim. Okay. Ah. Uh, that one read. Right. Uh, do, 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 do. Where are we going? I think I think we're clear here. I think we I think we're good. I think we're good. Apart from trading with the trader. Ooh, could buy that one, but I'd rather have this this puppy. So we're gonna wait until we have four more blue gleam. And still in the treasure box. I know why they keep doing that, but I fall for it every dagnab time. All right, rip headphone users, you've been warned. Wow, these coils, though. ASMR. <laughs> so much blue gleam. Good point. Did we get enough to buy that weapon with that? Oh! Craigasm. Give me that ish. Right meow. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Notice a beat. Yep. All right. Get me... Excuse me? Modification inventory is full. Uh, okay, we, we can fix that. We can fix that. Mods. Yeah. Get out of here. Anything blue or green goes by default. Except the handling coils because we can't seem to get any of them. some of these weaker tear coils. Don't need that much fire. I'm gonna use that over any of these. Which means quick freeze, shock. And this is a resist weaves. That's a pretty good one. We're keeping that. That's decent. Not so good, not so good. Keep three of each of these resists at least. So that we can make the builds that we need. And back to opening uh, treasure boxes. There we go. Okay, uh, this rock can just stay here. And then let's fix up our new bow. 